Global TV says certain kind of friend we no keep and some informal friend we love like we ain't global bona fie friend and bona tape we ain't global we no promote them we no support them look at them on a cheek come here represent for we ain't global TV check it globalist globalist morning for some in the religious community or rather for a holiday purpose it's the Easter weekend break it is also Good Friday. Good evening. How are you? Good afternoon. It's good afternoon from London. Good morning to you on the Eastern timeline. Member say me the power may break, but me say if there's something me need to come out, come talk about, I will. Good morning and good afternoon. How are you all? I hope you're all hearing me well because I'm just on my iPod and I'm kind of very disabled on my iPad because I'm used to streaming from computer mainly. So how are you all doing? How are you all doing, my globalist family? Good morning to those on the X, to those on the Twitch, on Facebook and on YouTube. Good morning and welcome. Judgment, Pandula Wholeness, we've got Pinar to the cross, to the and find out if she not have no shame. Boy, the first people that never see without shame. Talk to you. We never see one family. And in my room, I lay down for my bed, you know, so it may sound, it may sound different, but never mind. Me lay down my break. Like and share the live, please. I'm going to nail the criminal family to the cross this morning. Because me and the women I go, go through you know, this morning is yesterday's Gleena editorial. I don't know if you don't read it for yourself, but me I go, go through Gleena editorial. The cowboy, this hearty woman, this mate, they have no. We know that she doesn't have no conscience, but more and more the situation go on. We realize she don't have no shame. But we also realize too why Nigel a jump and prance. Don't touch Juliet, Nigel with your ring. Don't touch Juliet, Juliet and emasculate in the same sentence. But when I know, sir, a crooks, a country run by crooks, Jason Kane, good morning. Herbert Hughes, I don't know, take time with me because everything a little bit in front of me. Debbie Jervis, with your membership and your moderatorship, good morning, good morning. BCA Smith, good morning. Andrea Joan Hamilton Wilson, good morning. Elaine Turner, good morning, good morning. Denise Hall. Good morning to Herbert Tuzelin. Good morning, Colin J. Jones. Good morning, Durant Clark. JB, good morning. 
Georgia Tennis, good morning. Good morning. Rosalie Ricketts, good morning. Juliet Shakes, good morning. Tash, good morning. Angela4849, good morning. Good afternoon to you. Sunshine, how are you doing? Cousin Jamie, Sim Sim, Beat and Teach, where you there? Anthony R, Jamaica Carlos, head teacher K, and the whole honor, morning, and I hope on our whatever on the prepare for on a good Friday. Rosie D, me just have a belly full of fried dumpling, fried fish, planting, and ackee, and uh, um, not ackee and sawfish, I tell ackee on the side. Real black woman. Good morning. Brittany Monio, good morning. Good morning. Sarbant Wint, good morning. Good morning and welcome. Thank you all for joining. Which one of you seen or read yesterday's Gleaner editorial? <coughs> Which of you seen or read yesterday's Gleaner editorial? John, Patricia Matthews, good morning. Light Graham, good morning. Noreen Robinson, good morning. Elijah B, good morning. Good morning. Thank you all for joining us, Ubuntu, Ubuntu. Good morning. I hope you're all enjoying your Easter weekend break, eating up your fish and bami and bun and cheese. And Patrick Evans, how are you? And if you're in the tradition of eating, because whichever of these holiday, all I get involved in is the tradition of the eating. But other than that, that's about it for me. So I hope those of you who prepared your various different dishes for the weekend, you enjoy them and have a wonderful time doing so. The nation is under attack from one family, Lloyd. The nation is under attack from one family. But the most depressing part of it, Jamaicans are not responding to them. The Jamaicans are not reacting to them. They can run the country and do what they want. And nobody demonstrate. Nobody lay down in a road and roll. Nobody get up and say they're not going to walk. Nobody go state, no, nobody not go state, no sitting, freedom, good morning. Nobody not go state, no sitting, no nothing. Everybody just work with the thing so. And this is why them can't keep getting away and doing more and more of the bullshit because them realize just like all the people disengage at the polls, they are disengaged with majority of the issues in the country. It's americantv.com, good morning. They know just the way the people are disengaged at the polls. It's the same disengagement with the issues of the country. Thereby, because enough people don't pay attention to them and there's no action against the government, then nothing won't be done. And that's why, especially this regime, can continue to be yagging, yagging away at all rights for everything, everything we hold dear, as well as yagging away at the public purse. Everything we hold dear, this government just going around and ripping it up. Have you ever seen our parliament? Have you ever seen our parliament in the state? that it is today, the, the personal issue that our nation business has become, the family issue that our nation business has become, the issue around Juliet, Andrea, good morning. Our nation has become, the business of our nation has become centered around the wife of the prime minister and nothing else. Isolin Blackwood, good morning. 
our nation business. John. Our nation business. For the last week. Have been centered around the wife of the prime minister. And at no point, St. Peart, good morning. Natalia Freeman, how are you? At no point, the prime minister nor his wife seem to see that there's a line that needs to be drawn under this personal attack on our country by him and his wife. They're rather doubling down like the Donald Trump they are. They rather continue to double down like the Donald Trump. They are rather than pulling a line under this thing and get the nation business back on track. Why so? Because the prime minister is a desperate bully and his wife is a narcissistic maniac. Bullies, why do you think this whole situation turned on its head for Mark Golden challenge and in a parliament? Timid, lack of courage, bullies don't like to be challenged. And the minute him challenge and thing him lose him authority. I've never seen a government walk out of parliament. Generally, opposition in disgust of the government's behavior. Tina Moore, good morning and welcome. Government, um, opposition rather, in disgust of the government's behavior will walk out of parliament symbolically, Vincent Hunter. Will walk out of parliament symbolically. Um, but never have I seen a government, Precious Allen, never have I seen a government, a government that commands an overwhelming majority in the parliament. Never have I seen a government walk out of parliament in a budget debate. Never have I seen a government unable to respond to a debate to the point where they think that shutting down the debate was the right thing to do or was an honorable thing to do or was a gentleman thing to do. And ever since everything has been turned on its head because Mark Golden questioned good governance. And under the whole and under the underholeness regime, you must not question good governance. This is why we are where we are today. Because no one should question good governance. It is the reason why Andrew Holness, his wife, Mavis Forbes, or any of the 40 odd thieves, none have signed the code of conduct. So then basically I tell you, I can't keep my finger straight. I can't promise you. No. So I go keep my finger straight. I have to leave it open just in case my finger get too sticky. I have to make my finger work with the mind. Bullies don't like to be challenged. But you, the nation, you must challenge this tyranny. Just like you see Mark Golden challenge him at the dispatch box and have him and his wife are mad and I behave like loony ever since. Keith Solomon, good morning. And I behave like loony ever since. You the make the nation at home, the people need to put pressure on the government. Strike demonstrations, peaceful um, assemblies, peaceful demonstration, peaceful sitting, peaceful stay at home day. Why can't you, the people of Jamaica, um, impose restriction on yourself? Why can't you impose OPPS officials? Why can't you impose on yourself the stay-at-home rules that your prime minister imposed on you for almost two years. Hmm? 
Builder, good morning and welcome. Why can't you impose? There's a lot of tactical ways that you can demonstrate against this government. The government doesn't like when you touch their economy. The government doesn't like when you touch the free flow of their money. Start organizing yourself, Jamaica people. The taxi operators across Jamaica is a big group. They are very disgruntled. The Higgler's Association, I don't know if have no association, but I just said it. You're all disgruntled with the government. The young youths across the country, Lilith Foster, is disgruntled with the government lack of service or state abuse. You all need to start having your own little different groups, your own little different community groups, where you can network with other community groups when there are issues for you all to come together and answer, you know what? We're going to stage a sting, Big Bassy, a St. Elizabeth today. Or simul simultaneously, we're going to stage sitting across three parish. You have right to demonstrate. You have right to peaceful assembly. And you have right to act against the government in your interests. You don't have to be violent. But you can do active things that will make the government have to respond to the people and negotiate with the people. We can't just continue, make them just behave so. Carl Turner, good morning. We can't make them just continue to behave so. And we not, um, we not pushing back. And every time the liberty become worse, Every time the liberty become worse, still see it the right in a parliament as well. But let's look at the Gleaner, the Gleaner editorial. But the my iPad, so I can't share nothing. So I just have to read. Let us read. Good morning. I don't know when another home may disable. For my new globalists who have joined, sometime I'm not always in London. Gloria Morris, Ivan Facey. Good morning. So when I'm out and about, I'm just on my iPad or phone. So I'm quite disabled to the type of broadcasting I would present to you if I'm at home in my studio. But we'll still work it together and keep your company until we get back to normal programming. Remember, we did one on it before. Me left anyway, sir. And I'm not official, I go on. But Juliet Honus continuous obduracy that's been difficult to deal with. I don't know why they have to write in these big words. I don't like writing a big word and I just don't like it. Because sometimes it blows over people's head if you don't have time to look up to the meaning. But then again, Google provide you a good way to the meaning by just holding on to the word. And when it highlights, it would come up with a part, a copy, select, definition, or whatever. So when you touch on definition, it gives you the meaning and the pronunciation of the word. Tamara Davis, good morning and welcome. Thank you for joining Global TV this morning. But we we'll go to the article. Junet Honest continued obduracy in refusing to release Attorney General Derek McCoy opinion on the procedure for tabling reports by the Auditor General in Parliament is to say the least puzzling. And why it is puzzling? Because Juliet Holness keep contending that there is a difference of opinion calling Humphreys. 
the legal opinion of the Attorney General is what would give clarity or something make sense to the issue. Whether the Attorney General um, report is in her favor or not. And I, I, sub, I suspect it's not in her favor because hence she would have released it to clear up the argument, but them continue to hold on to it would suggest that the Attorney General advice is not in line with her argument. So, so too was her seeming attempt to throw under the bus or exact retribution from the clerk to Parliament Valerie Curtis. Sorry, Valerie Curtis for the public relation and administrative fiasco in which this matter has evolved. All and Juliet Pardo and nobody else. Miss Curtis, however, is to be commended for her equanimity and professionalism. I mean her calm composure with which she conduct herself in the house Tuesday when she might when she might seem when she might have seen sorry when she might have been um, seething. That means she can even in the face of anger she remained composed she didn't express any anger toward the situation some of them they don't like when people write in a big word i just don't like it what perspective power how are you dan Atkins, good morning and welcome yes people like and share the live please while we rumble through this article like and share the live right Whatever the final outcome of any discussion between the Speaker of the House and the clerk or other disciplinary hearing, Ms. Holness should offer a public apology to Ms. Curtis for her clunky handling of the matter in which she publicly censored the official without due process in in accordance with the civil service relation. That action was ironic given Parliament continued insistence on the gag clause that requires the Integrity Commission not to speak about its investigation until the probe, until the probes are completed and the reports are tabled in Parliament. I do believe, before I continue, and I hope Miss Ellis would answer this question, because I've been asking this question from the other day. Did Miss Ellis submit the report to Nigel Clark two months before she submitted to Parliament? Because Nigel Clark is known, Noreen Dennison morning, Nigel Clark is known to have report on his desk. Raymond, how are you? Nigel Clark is known to have reports on his desk. Did you catch Cabweb and Doth? Cabweb and thus Nigel Clark is known for that. On a part where I can barely see them something at some time, but me, me I struggle to see. I just don't want to miss nobody. I can show me a read on my phone and up on the iPad. I'm confused. Whereas with me, they hold everything there in front of me from the computer. But never mind. Let's talk along. <coughs> Last November, Ms. Holness ruled that a report by the Auditor General on public bodies, which on public bodies 
had to wait for two months before being tabled to allow relevant minister that would have been Nigel Clark, given what those two reports were, time to comment on them in accordance with the Financial Administrative and Audit Act and the Public Body Management and Accountability Act. Last week, two reports from the Auditor General, Pamela Monroe Ellis, submitted to Parliament last December and in January were returned to the Auditor General who promptly, hastily, quickly sent them back. It may be that Ms. Monroe Ellis received a legal opinion that asserts her constitutional obligation to remit the report to Parliament over the requirement of any other legislation. <clears throat> it would be important for Ms. Ellis to answer that question. I'm hinging on Nigel Clark got the report and didn't respond to them. And therefore, the rules would be under the Aqua Juleta board. If Nigel Clark, if they were submitted to Nigel Clark two months prior and Nigel Clark has not responded to them, then the law permits Ms. Monroe Ellis to send them direct to Parliament to be tabled. So it would be very, very interested and important to hear an answer from Ms. Ellis's office as to whether the report was sent to the Ministry of Finance two months prior to sending those two reports to Parliament in December and January. So around October, was there any report, Rohan Lowen, Williams, rather, sorry, was there any report sent to Nigel Clark from the Auditor General's office in October, November? It's very important because now that we know Nigel Clark is lying, Nigel Clark is swindling our money, Nigel Clark have a lot to hide. Nigel Clark, I walk and pay for empty building. Nigel Clark probably even a play, peer. We money if you put with a uh, um, pig, a uh, wing pan pig. Because once I feel with money, you know, they can't do anything with it. Hmm? Once I feel with money, they can't do anything with it. Hold on there. Mm. On Tuesday, Speaker Holness. Speaker Matey are sidewise. Rhoda Mate. See, Holness I hug up him two wife on screen. And I go call crowd. Run, go call crowd and tell them Sonia Barrack. Run, go call crowd and tell him, say, See the Prime Minister and in Parliament and housewife, yeah. This is what the Parliament has become. A place of hurt and pain, Marlin God. A place of bad feeling and matey, warfare. Iris Bogle, good morning. A place of warfare and bitter heart feeling, Audrey Robinson, good morning. A them thing that are happening in our parliament. That's why our parliament become a dolly horse. It's because it's the prime minister's wife. It's perspective power. Why the prime the, the, the speaker of the house can be going above her authority, imposing disciplinary. One without due process, and two without having jurisdiction has no authority to do so. It doesn't fall in her space. On Tuesday, I don't have, I don't have to understand, so I'm read and quarrel, you know, and I must understand me by now. On Tuesday, uh, Speaker Mate content conceded that these 
continue, there continue to be dissonance, difference of opinion, she's saying, in the interpretation of the law on how reports of public bodies should be tabled. You mean to say this area of law, Norman Ferguson, found through parliament did it. This area of law didn't became a contention. Reginald Turner, good morning and welcome. This area of law did and does anyone who follows Jamaica politics aware of a content a contention of this area of law prior to the prime minister's wife becoming speaker of the house? Is there anyone who is aware of a dispute in this area of law or this area in parliament how reports are to be tabled? Hmm? Because Mrs. Holness is of the view that all of a sudden, one, Mrs. Ellis don't know how to do our job. And when Mrs. Ellis sent him back to him and said, who the little burden bearer girl they are talked to? She then turned upon the clerk. But to the clerk not know how to hang skittle and tegering. The, the, the clerk whole fear adultly, woman, motherly composure. But you want somebody like Sister people would and hold you and throw you up the wall and bounce you off a wall. Hmm? But this is what the parliament has become. Yet while touting her release of an opinion on the matter by the parliament, that supports the position she adopted, the speaker refused to budge on making public the one by Derek McCoy. Though insisting that there is nothing to hide. Why? Time up for them, you know. They have become a public disgrace, Devon Fletcher. They have become a public disgrace to our country. And it's only going to get worse from here. On the face of it, Juliet Holness stands only, only on her base in, uh, if indeed her only reason for withholding Derek McCoy up opinion is that it is the speaker of the house discretion to make a ruling having taken into consideration all opinion received let's appear like the attorney general advice unless it's an issue to do with national security if it doesn't concern national security and an attorney general Advice can be published at least to the House of Parliament library. So I don't follow Juliet. Nothing don't go so. The, one other thing is Juliet Holness have no understanding of this area of the, of the job. You see, Antonia, well one boss. You see why Marissa Dal will go up as the whole of the MB did understand how to do this job. Marissa Dalwell Pilbert is a lawyer, a person who is best placed at the speaker of the house is people with legal knowledge because it's a highly legal technical job. It's a highly legal technical job. So it's an area of the house where it's best, where it's best suited a lawyer. Mary said that Wilper Filbert was all right for that. You couldn't put fly green or other 
people are so on there who have an understanding of the law. Juliet don't understand the law them way there. You understand? But never mind. It's a family thing. This is not a private matter. Parliament and the public have an interest in knowing the basis upon which Parliament Council opinion is preferred over that of the Attorney General um, if they indeed they differ. Now, the two legal counsel here, there's two legal counsel taken. She've taken advice from the Parliamentary Legal Council, which advises Parliament. She's all the, um, there was advice also sought from the Attorney, Attorney General's office, which the Attorney General advises the government. So there are two different legal offices. She released the one the advice from the Parliamentary Legal Council, but is still holding back on the one from the Attorney General. But she said she don't have nothing to hide. Further, if the Speaker holds, as she clearly does, that her position is right, she not only breach a principle, but her own ruling by tabling the two report sent back to Parliament by the Auditor General while planning to negotiate with Miss Monroe Ellis on the issue. So the editorial said, if the issue where she a whole on can say, the report never submitted properly was right. And she's still maintaining that her position is the right position. Why did you buckle, buckle under pressure on Tuesday and release the reports after Miss Monroe Ellis send them back on, on, on Monday? While at the same time, you're having a negotiation with Miss Monroe Ellis, and then you went on with an assault on the um, the clerk to the house. So the woman just have a meltdown and rather than in England, yeah, one top private um, mental health hospital, the Priory, rather than book a room in the Priory because this is what company directors and them people do when they're stressed out or overwhelmed with their job. Them book themselves into the priory and then go get themselves started out. Andrew Holness need to book his wife into a, um, some psychological counseling. She need that help. It is clear from her behavior in Parliament with regards to this report, her behavior to Miss Monroe Ellis and her public disgrace of a woman who had given 30 years of service to the Jamaican people. This suggests that the wife of the Prime Minister, the Speaker of the House, needs psychological help. Everything is showing that. You're going to make your wife break down for your job. You're going to make your baby mother you're going to make your baby mother break down on job. You need to book her into somewhere for start herself out. The woman stressed out. She can't sleep at night. Look her under her eye. Clear meltdown, um, Sharon. Hmm? The woman is in a clear meltdown book the woman into the priory or whatever equivalent hmm? <coughs> shauna smith how are you 
whatever equivalent da Jamaica, John Brown, morning. <laughs> whatever mental institution in Jamaica, where you can, and private health, uh, private mental health rather, institution in Jamaica, you need to book your wife in. She's having a public meltdown in front of us. How you not see it. And so much are we are because you're not paying no attention to her at home. The closest in a, in a parliament. But in a parliament, she had a breakdown, but it would have a worse at home. Because if she can't contain herself in public like this, imagine the meltdown at home. Hmm? I wonder why she used makeup cover for her face. So can never tell. Never mind. Let's finish this article. Further. If the speaker hold that she that as she clearly does that her opinion is right, she's not only in breach, she's not only breach of principle, but her own ruling by tabling the two reports sent back to Parliament by the Auditor General while planning to negotiate with Miss Monroe Ellis on the issue. Miss Holness said she took she took that the position. She took that position because the House won't convene for a month. Uh -uh. That means that we can for Easter break for a month is the only way, and the only way, get her girl, and the only way make me show her, hello, Rina, and the only way make me show her two way up on a month, two way up on a month break. Otherwise, if we never go up on a month break, a little faster, only would have to go. In the back and forth with me till me ready to show no. until wholeness stop make me feel bad at home and stop feel bad in a parliament at the time, then I always see it. Miss Wholeness said she took that position because the house wouldn't convene for a month. That happened after. What happened after that if the Auditor General? does not relent, does not back down. Having created this president, it would be a sense, it would be sensible if the speaker rescind her ruling and return to the old system of tabling report. So with the editorial I said, you give him run out on you. Go back to the system where nobody never used to have no problem with and make it work because you try it and you still have to buckle down under the pressure because there was nothing that supports the blunder and the fake position, the lying position, the having something to hide position, Carl Robert, Carl, Carl Roberts, good morning, the covering up for Nigel Clark position, Sharon, good morning. The covering up for Nigel Clark position that you took. You still have to cave in Michelle Johnson. Roger, you there? Hold on there. Mm. Well gone, Roger. Roger. I am Roger Forbes. It's my brother. Good morning, everyone. Give my brother some support, please. If you want to see the exercise, then we'll make a turn big like the giant, the, the giant in a Gulliver Chavo, because that's what my brother look like the giant in a Gulliver Chavo. So, if you want to look big like the giant in a Gulliver Chavo, and want to know the different workout, then what we do? Over Roger, please. Um, I am Roger Fobbs. Page is the place to be. If you want all of those workout tips. Right, let's go on. Public apology. Having created this precedent, it would be sensible if the speaker rescind the ruling and return to the old system of tabling these reports while causing constitutional constitutional and legislative question 
to be adjudicated by the court, meaning that if this matter has become so contentious, then the matter ought to be taken to the court for the justice's opinion and how reports ought to be tabled. Dorothy Richardson, good morning and welcome. It has gotten to such a contentious era where now it's the constitutional court that a ruling must be sorted on this. But will Juliet want to go that route or is it about Juliet making it up as she go along to protect just about any crooked members of the Jamaica Labour Party, including the Minister of Finance and her husband, Dorothy White. Good morning. With respect to the matter of the clerk to Parliament, Miss Curtis is seemingly being blamed for allowing physical report from the Attorney General to remain at Parliament in the face of what might have been interpreted as Miss Monroe Ellis' defiance of the Speaker November ruling. Both Miss Monroe Ellis and Miss Curtis knew that they were doing the right job. Miss Monroe Ellis has been doing these sort of reports for um, since 2008. The clerk has been the clerk to parliament for about 30 years. These two women have experiences under their belt in their field. And all of a sudden, dishcloth, hmm? dishcloth jump up on the table and want to lick over every cockroach. Hmm? Because this club don't understand the beauty of coffee on a table. Hmm? That's what this club do when they get elevation. Hmm? Perhaps it was expected that Miss Curtis would send them back. This, although it is not clear from the uh, speaker holding this letter to Miss Curtis specifically what the official did or failed to do. However, in that letter distributed to all members of parliament, Mrs. Holness declared declare her action to be a gross dereliction of duty that had brought parliament into disrepute, which is a serious charge in the employment spheres. But apparently, the speaker arrived at this position, which she made publicly in the absence of a hearing and without following the civil service disciplinary regulations. Don'ts. V.D. Thompson, good morning and welcome. A class dunce. Come on, this class where it's up on table. Hmm? Husband went to them band in a one bedroom board house. Tomorrow I'm born in a one bedroom, two bedroom board house. Husband went to them mama higla. Tomorrow I'm mama civil servant. I never remember if it told no. So the article done. Cut on no, no, me not done yet. Sorry. Now have one more paragraph left. Right, let me finish it. But apparently the speaker arrived at this position, which she made publicly in the absence of a hearing. Oh no, me done. Me read it already. I told my time and I read and quarrel. When it gets to this in the political landscape. You expect a moral decision from such politician to resign. Okay, 
We know say moral and them don't walk on the same side of the street. If they even meet on any street at all. But then when I go say again, it still apply to moral. You would have thought a government would have asked for such a member's resignation. But then again, if it's a family business, hold that all of us a so family run business, Mary Messenger TV, Dwayne Hutchinson. It's a family run business. So anything the family do, we just brush it over and move on because I feel it. We're not accountable to nobody. You understand? We're not accountable to anybody. So we can just do whatever we feel and make it up as we go along. But what you, the people, are going to do about this? Are you serious? Like telling us that you are just going to allow this one couple to take over your country and ruin it after they have made sure they've stolen your children wealth and they build mansion for them generational wealth for their children in Jamaica. Wayne Evans, how are you? Mansion and private yacht in St. Lucia. Apartment complexes all across Jamaica. And you are going to allow them to ruin it. Patricia Williams, good morning. You are going to allow them to ruin it for your children you don't think bros good morning and welcome you don't think that your you don't think that your children deserve that ladder of generational wealth as well <coughs> If we allow them to continue to destroy our country, that is what is going to happen. They have no vested interest in doing anything good for the nation. All they're interested in is to continue their enrichment. Don't touch Juliet. Of course, because Juliet, I saw you go. You protect who? Protect you. Hmm? You protect who? Protect you. Chai Smith. Good morning. And at that, I keep asking. And I hope Miss Monroe Ellis could answer this question. Were those two reports submitted to Nigel Clark around October, November, Tariq Antonio, prior to Miss Monroe Ellis sending them to Parliament on um in December and January? Because that would explain to us and give us clarity as to why Miss Monroe Ellis took that stand, send them back to Parliament, and Juliet have to table them. Because if she had sent them to Nigel Clark in October, November, the process that Juliet Holness had jump cahoots and attack boat would have been followed and would have given her power to send back the report to Juliet, where Juliet had dilly dally about, say, I don't saw it go. Only make me brighter than Ono. Hmm? That's one of the hard weeks of his soul. Um. 
Hold on there. One of the so long. I me just come and find out, sir. The whole honor did I do it the wrong way. <coughs> that is what the Prime Minister wife want to have you believe. For all these years, the law was being followed incorrectly. Hmm? Because we are fools. But people, we need demonstration on this issue. We need strikes on this issue. You can't write to the office of the prime minister and to the speaker of the house. They are arrogant, desperate bullies. You have to take action against them. Cousin Myrna, morning. How on a good Friday ago, when I start eat the fish and bami and the potato, pudding and all of the Easter bang around them. We just have dumpling this month. We have this one, we have dumpling. I tell Aki, planting, fry fish. I'm going to find something from mole over when we done as well. All sorts, they don't stay to eat. So, if I told them thing in a Christmas, me did sick, I never eat. Tell them to try me now. Mm -hmm. Eat them out of house and home. No, sir. But Jamaicans, we need... We need positive ways of dealing. Oh, we know it's still early for now. It's still early for now. We need ways of dealing with these issues. Look at TV, good morning. We can't just... Hey, them something that can't happen in foreign, you know? Government can't play with we so foreign, you mad. Hmm? Government don't play with with so dangerous a foreign. Even if they decide to do, they know there will be pushback from the people. In a Britain, I must even go to police them. No walk out and, and, and go strike by the government because I doubt they're allowed to do it. But nurses, doctors, teachers, firemen, ambulance workers. I want to know Jamaican. I uno alone free the government in a so-called democracy. The type of fear Jamaica people have, it is a fear that you find in dictatorship. Mm. The fear of Jamaica people are sure. These are the type of fear that you find in dictatorship. You can't make the government even face the morning. You can't make the government strangle your people. The government must realize and know say, on a still respect on a freedom on a democracy, on a want it to remain that way there. Any touch it I got touch, I better on a want it become. And we see time and time under this government, the constitution become uh, um, get attack. We rights get attack. We legislative process get attack. We integrity department under attack. The clerk of the house is under attack. If we allow this government to continue to keep attacking and chipping away at our rights like this, 
we're not going to have any left. There comes a point where we have to stand up and push back against the government. The more fear, <laughs> Natalia, <laughs> Bangara, the more fear you all display is the more the government is going to chip away at your rights. If the people across Britain, America, Canada, Australia, and so on, never really stand up and push back hard demonstration-wise under this global arrest that we were under the other day, you know how far they would have sleepwalk with into this thing. If everybody did just take the ton of yard, hey, Jamaican, or not obedient, you know. Mr. Ono obedient to the whole of lockdown. Most Saturdays, there were big protests in London. The media just don't want to tell you said they happen. Hmm? Liar fake news, mainstream media just didn't want to tell you that those things were happening. Kiki, good morning and welcome. Jamaica people get in the fever of protesting. It works. It's a powerful tool against tyrannical government. You shine a global in today's world, you shine a global spotlight on them. But when everybody on the international scene, say, say nothing will happen in a Jamaica, no demonstration, no go on. People will look and think, say, the leaders not that bad after all, Vernon Adams. Because it's a general thing to push back and corrupt leaders. And Jamaicans are not really pushing back, protesting, demonstrating, or whatever. So there can't be such a governance issue. It always puzzles me as to why we've gone into such a deep sleep. We have gone so cold to the point where this Hey, this family takes some liberty away. And within a short space of time, because before COVID and when them get the majority, them never them did bad, but them never all that bad. There's really some colors come out in them after the 2020 general election with them really start show we say you know what so do oh no we do what we want there and we're gonna run the thing how we want to run it 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 cannot listen i one thing with um norman ferguson you see the UK politics, it breeds corruption globally. Carlos Gray, where are going from? Big up yourself, my bro. A lot of the corruption were entrenched across. Brit, um, Africa and the Caribbean was entrenched by this by the same British institution. But one thing I admire with the British or with white people in general, even in the height of their barbarity, they would put systems in place that becomes a workable check and balance to power, not 
in an absolute way, but in a lot of ways. Politicians in the UK are held accountable, especially to the media, to their voters, to their parliamentary colleague and their party membership. In Jamaica, there is no system of accountability enforced at any level. It is for that reason why the wife of the prime minister can, on the confusion of doing her job, can make it up as she go along. Because there's no system of accountability, no processes follow. We just do the thing how we want to do the thing. The way we parliament are run, it has never run like this before. When you talk about it, this family think it's a personal attack on them. So don't know, or no shouldn't be in public life. Because you see, first, you see, you see once you can't deal with criticism, you know, in your public, go into the private sector, that's your area. Where you can be the private individual. But when you put yourself in a public, and especially, when you decide to come in a public con go on like bully, are you coming a public con without integrity? And then you don't want nobody to talk. It showed a dictatorial Elder Fletcher. It showed a dictatorial bully despotic side of you. Because you only want to issue out order and people follow them. Never have I heard of the clerk of parliament being in dispute. Even the other day, the speaker for the house of parliament in the United Kingdom was in dispute as well. How the speakership worked in the UK, once the party is elected, the party chooses the speaker. Once they choose that speaker, that speaker resigns from the constituency. A by election is held to replace him. That is done for the independency, even though that speaker will still have the allegiance to that party but you, you are removed from being a member of parliament where you don't have that double standard. So once the party win and they choose the speaker, that speaker cannot contest any more election. That's where it done. It, 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 it's, it's done for them. Because you're going to be the speaker most uh, likely throughout the life of your party um, once your party is in power. So no matter how much time your party goes back to the poll, you cannot um, contest any election. But they don't want to do it like that in Jamaica. And whenever time wholeness wants to come to Jamaica people, he refers to the Westminster system. If you're going to refer to the Westminster system, then follow it properly. In the Westminster system as well, you wouldn't find a wife and a husband in government. In the Westminster system as well, you wouldn't find a wife and a husband, the head of the legislature and the head of government, two of the governing branches of the Constitution. 
Imagine them did have a judge in a them family. Forgive the, the um, Chief Justice job too. Then the three powerful branch of the Constitution would be run by a family. However, two of the most powerful branch is now run by one family. And when the country talks about it, they get into a hissy fit. Throw the baby and the bath water. Jump out of the pram. Throw the ice cream and the lollipop. Take out the dolly and her clothes them and dash out. Because everybody, Yvonne Green, morning. JP, how are you? Everybody must just go on with the fakery and the robbery. As long as you go on with the fakery and the robbery, stay silent to the fakery and the robbery, then everything all right. Mr. Golden, we are running out of patience, sir. We're running out of patience, Mr. Golden. Take the heat to these thieves. Lead the people into a demonstration. Or parliament is in disarray, Mr. Golden. Take the people to the street. Our Rowan Williams is saying, stay home and use te technology. Mm -hmm. And as I tell you all the other day as well, protest with the pen also, Natalie Bailey, but there's some time you have to do active things to show the government that you are not going to allow them to interfere with your right, especially repeatedly. And you do nothing about it. There's a lot that we can do and are doing on social media. Liebert Peart, how are you? I would hope, hold on, let me keep me, oi! My old body, I don't have to make my family old and I lay down, I lay down, I go. <coughs> Take my time, go downstairs with all of them fans, go down, go so I can go down, go sit down and talk to me, hold on there. I don't have to see it, but be the part of the rest break. But JC, man, in. But I don't know if them people that irritate me, I will still give it to them. But who believe that the Prime Minister should book his wife into a psychiatric institution because she is very stressed out and it's been shown in public. Who do believe that? I mean, that's the right thing. Hmm? A mad she, a mad out? I rather stress, just stress out. Which one? But in any case, it has shown with inner crowd, sir. The behavior. Mm. The behavior. Tell you, sir, something right here, sir. Hold on, let me get your power bank. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, yes, here it is. Here it is. Nothing. Make sure I see him charge. But if we know there's something there, you know, if we don't hurry up, the truth is September too long, Deborah Cohen. September, next year, September too long for wait. 
something drastically needs to happen that push Andrew Holness out of government. Something drastically need to happen. Pressure need to be mounted from the opposition, from civil society, and from the nation at large. The more of us voice come on to this issue. And don't forget the, the um what you call it, the New York protests. <coughs> the New York protest is coming up soon. Longer matter of time. And that is going to bring further Natalie Daly. Good morning. I'm not all around me. I go downstairs. I go downstairs to finish my blog, York Star. I want to sit down. I did lay down. I lay down. Hold on. If you take my time, go down the stairs, other people, you know, make me tumble down downstairs. Mm -hmm. Now stop. Right. No Jamaica people, the talking is a part of it. Because that raises the consciousness of the people. But we also have to be active against the government. <coughs> Simple girl, good morning. Lloyd, good morning. Loyal, is it loyal, isn't it? Deliver Price, good morning. God at my altar. Just like all them was send the metro come mash up with style. Just like all them was send them police come mash up with raw. Just like all them was send them police, Sonia Newman Smith, come attack with and um extort with pan roadside at the time. Who said you don't have the right to protest against the government? Your constitution protects peaceful assembly. You don't even have to go out there to make no noise. You go out there to turn up and you hold up your clock yard. You go out there to turn up and you got to tie a piece of cloth across your mouth. It's a symbol to say what the government is doing to you. The government is censoring you. It's a symbol to go out there and create what a symbol and uh, whatever symbol lets that you want to show what the state is doing to you. But one thing you must not do is just sit down and think there is nothing you can do without it. Never sit down. And think because they have a gun or because they are in uniform, you must accept that behavior. No. You have a right to defend yourself by all means necessary. You have a right to freedom of thought, conscience, association and assembly. Stop just to open the rights to the government, Jamaicans. Rights is something to cherish. Safeguard. Ring fence. And develop. But not to deteriorate. Not to be abused. We are giving them too much. We're allowing this 
tyrannical regime to continue to take more and more grip and power. And if we don't push back on this, it's only going to end bad for us, the people. Because these people literally do not care. They are benefiting. Pedro, Jamat, good morning. Jamat, Pedro Jamat, good morning and welcome to Global Television. Sean, good morning. Good morning, Elga Fletcher. Jamaican, we have to start, first of all, in your community by creating community action groups. And once you have a community action group, you start to network with neighboring community action groups. You know, the unity that would form across the parish. If you say every month, the community action group is going to meet to look at the area within our community. And every quarter, every three months, Leon Chambers, every three months, the action group the groups across the parish or the constituency is going to meet. You know the unity that that type of networking would bring and the enlightenment and highlight in order to engage in our politics and take on these issues when they arise rather than leave roots. Good morning and welcome rather than expecting these people who have created the mess to bring a solution to the mess. This current situation shows us that all they're interested in continue to do is continue to confuse us with this issue. Liz Reese, Reese uh, Beckford, good morning. We need to start coming together, people. Our division is a part of the problem. Where we are in all sorts of different little splintered group. And there's not a meaningful lobby of us to take on the government when things like these happen. Can you imagine for a week such a constitutional breakdown is going on in our country and not one demonstration? A huge constitutional breakdown in our country and not one specs of demonstration. Ivan Johnson, how are you? Hmm? Not one specs of demonstration. Everybody look like them are wait on the 90 wonder. We're going to continue until the wholeness is stepped down. Let me say to the Jamaica Labour Party, it's time for the turn on the wholenesses. If any of you want to have a little political life, if any of you want to have a little political life, it's time to throw the wholenesses under the bus. Because be sure if you all don't. Jay Lovely, good morning. 
I'm sure if you all don't, there will be a lot of you ne come next September that will be going under the high-speed train with Andrew Holness and his wife. A saving grace for some of you in the Jamaica Labour Party who've got political ambition, especially the young ones of you who've got a long political future ahead of you. It is time to throw the wholenesses off the bus. Louis V. Boss Entertainment, good morning and welcome. It is time to throw the wholenesses off the bus. If any of you in the Jamaica Labour Party who got who have political ambitions going further, throw them off the bus now. Otherwise, you will all go down on that sinking ship. Because under no circumstances can this government repair its credibility. It cannot happen. Everyone has seen them for who they are. They have now been seen by the entire Jamaica as to who they are. Oliver Rodney, good morning. And you know what makes it bad for some of you, members of the Jamaica Labour Party? You have sat by idly in support of the attack on our rights, our constitution, or legislative process, the disgraceful walkout of parliament, and all that has followed the attack on our constitution, the attack on our legislative process, the attack on our good governance, such as the Office of the Political Ombudsman, the Integrity Commission, and all that. You, the 40 odd thieves, have assisted every attack from the wholeness family on our constitution, legislation, good governance, and on the people of Jamaica. So when you don't have grace, power, or favor. But one thing I can tell you, because in politics, memory don't very long. Some of you can repair yourselves. But you have to throw the wholenesses off the bus. But make sure on a toy man before Marky G can get the jawbreak so Marky G can run right over him. If Marky G wants jawbreak on top of him, fine. But make sure when you're not toy man. When you make sure you're toy him just in front of Andrew front wheel. Hmm? Just in front of Andrew front wheel, so Andrew can run over him. Uh, um, just in front of Mark front wheel, so Mark can run over him. Two minutes ago, I, I get to watch this, something that I don't even know how much I don't like the live. I'm going to quarrel over the little like, you know, because I break me the pan. And I should not do no live. But maybe because I come addicted to, you know. They have to come out conduit, but you know, can't do the little touch button on them something there. Not pain on a finger. No man, four hundred um, four hundred down or there. And I'm go one at ninety one seventy eight. Like the life. You know, can't do better than that still. Me nothing on a finger pain on a when on a um, touch the like button. Delta Campbell. Morning and welcome. So, you no can't touch the like button. Don't cast a thing for touch. 
Don't cause no pain for touch. Just touch. Mm -hmm. Jamaica people, we have to take back our country. This is the worst I've ever seen our country. It's the worst type of leadership me ever see Jamaica have. I've never seen this type of family politics in democracy. This type of politics is normally uh, what you would see in a dictatorial regime. But if we don't do something about it, they who it benefits is going to continue to make sure they keep the oppression and the stealing going because it benefits them. It won't change until you, the people, Maureen Vassal. Until you, the people, Um, Maureen Vassal, the PMP and Mark Golden is a bit lazy on this. There has been so much to capitalize on, on the demonstration front. And it's not been utilized by the People's National Party. There's too much of a softball. Too much of a softball has been applied to them. Every little word come out of their mouth. The People's National Party, Andrew McCoy. The People's National Party should be out there calling for demonstration. Out there upon the picket line. And I don't know why Mark Golden and Dayton and Campbell and the others don't think that is a part of the politics. The people of Jamaica have been asking for that. And you all are not responding. Mark Golden came out of the election with a spring in his step. Andrew Holness gave Mark Golden the winning argument for the election when he walked out of Parliament the other evening. Mark Golden must not let this fire die. You can use this fire that you came out of the election with to champion so much other things and bring public knowledge to a lot of other things that the public is not fully aware of. It is pressure that them have to buckle under and table the report because they realize nothing is going for them. We the people need to become active in our politics. We need to become guardian for our rights. We need to become guardian for our rights. And if we don't do, all we're going to have is them being trampled over by tyrannical bullies despotic junkies like the maniac and narcissistic husband and wife that hijack our country, constitution, legislative process and the country's purse. Bunch of thieves. Hmm? Will parliament become a dolly house? 
where every heart feeling between wholeness to woman in the parliament has been taken out on the nation by wholeness baby mother. Jamaica, this cannot go on. It cannot go on. Hold on, let me see what this says. Sir. Downtown Kingston and the proceedings for the Bob Downtown Kingston and the proceedings for the Bob of Marley Beach matter is happening right now in courtroom one. I went as far as the door, but I was told the media is not allowed. In fact, the police officer was very dismissive. He was not willing to speak to me or address me in regards to why the media is not allowed. But uh, I was told that there would be no press in this uh, court proceedings today. So we waited on the outside to get an update on what was happening inside the court. Dr. Marcus Goff is the attorney representing the beach activists. Well, this is a public interest matter. You know, these... Plaintiffs have filed this case on behalf of the public at large, not only themselves, and so the public and the interest in this case. It must be noted that the media protocols from the court administration of Jamaica also state that court hearings, with the exception of a few, are open to the public, and the media is welcomed to report on them. That aside, the suit was filed against the government and a developer amidst plans that a major hotel will be constructed on the Bob Marley Beach property. Several groups, including the Jamaica Beach Birthright Environmental Movement, JABEM, were concerned that the development could prevent beach access for the public as well as a family who lived on the property for decades. Now, today, the trial date should have been scheduled. But we were just served with some documents yesterday by the government about the Commission of Lands, and so we will need more time to be able to review those and have some further discussions with them uh, towards you know any future uh, date. So that's what we did today. We agreed a date that we will come back to court in May uh, to see where we next go from here. Dr. Goff said essentially the government has filed a special defense stating that it is not the one who owns the land and the Bob Marley Beach property that the claimants are concerned about. They say they have no dispute with uh, the people uh, who use that you know, public beach and so they are saying that uh, they are not the right ones who are before the court. Well, next we want to continue to do some um, research to exactly see else we need to maybe bring into the case right <laughs> um and also to prepare ourselves for what will eventually may eventually go to trial in this matter so we're preparing our witnesses as well too persons who've been affected by the beach as well so we can see how we can then present the best case to the court going forward to preserve the public's rights i also wanted to get a response from the attorney representing the government here today but because i was not inside today's proceedings i could not readily identify him and when i went to ask i was told he had already left reporting from sutton street in downtown kingston i'm kelisha williams for tvj news this is another Sarah. thing again that is an attack and our rights. We saw it in the Silvera case where media was prevented from coming into the court. And it's also an issue in this Bob Marley Beach case. Even the courts that is meant to be protecting your rights and be the guardian of your constitution. I wonder for the big peer where they did give them. Remember, they did judge them big peers, so <laughs> you might never can tell who are back up for who. But this is another um, attack again. Andrew, to respond to you, I did depot over ice at last night, but honestly, I was in and out of sleep. But I know he was dealing with the speaker issue. So much of us cannot be wrong. It's only the speaker and our cronies them. 
the field entertainer, because you don't want to call some dumb people name on your gracious platform. But they never stay in a race for too long, entertainer them. Where every platform them run go. For go create audience. People should not walk and beg them audience. And next to have you pay them. For grow on platform. Go trumpet. Things for them. Jamaica has long been a police state calling, to be honest with you. Ever since me know it. But because Nesta paid his failure, Uno can call the name them if Uno want um, Shana. But once you hear the name Fail Entertainer, everybody should know who that is. When Nesta pay for Goron, got trumpet for him, when we say every platform in Gopan as well. Why I sat the pan? Why I sat is talking so much? Listen here. You talk because you look publicity. Me and I sat talk because we understand the area. We spent years at last school. And let me tell you something. When we go to school, it doesn't mean that we are leash. We're not gag. It rather loose with them to talk about everything and take on a lot of things. I hit my kalata we got a lot of school. Maybe you a lobby for an order of distinction or order of nation or something. I've been a good morning and welcome. We don't have to lobby for nothing wrong, yeah, so. We don't prostitute with free speech. If you look at accolade or chocolate, that's how Auntie Dana would have called it, Maria McKenzie. No, we don't prostitute with free speech over here. We're going to stand up for truth and justice, brotherhood and peace, to work diligently and creatively. And that will... Uh, that we sign up to. We never sign up to celebrity status and popularity. So we don't have to run it down because we never have it and we don't work for it. And we don't have to come out here, push ourselves in every limelight. Because what we are doing, we are doing it from genuineness. We're not doing it because we're desperate for attention. We're not doing it because we're looking back for something material from it. What we're looking back from it is for the awakening of the Jamaica people. I'm going to tell you, ladies, sir, uh, minister from the stage, come out of the people, them pack it. Them give you a church. When you did that Birmingham, when you had a villa, when you did a walk and boast, pan, when you're in a car, anybody may think that I preach this moron preach when she in a church, but if you watch her, you know, if you boast, she boasts pan her audience, them. Go sell your villa upon the beach, use it by cheer and light, and come out of the people, them pack it, or go back upon the stage part time, ladies, or go skin out, and come out of the people, them pack it. Be tired of the whole on in a paper packet now. Hmm? Be tired of the whole on in a paper packet. Go sell your villa on the beach, lady, sir. Go and sell your villa on the beach by cheer and by light and fix up your rastom and paint your free church. When you two get house and one saddle. Hmm? Everything on the one dig. Mm? Everything on the one dig out of the, the, the people. Them, I good God Almighty man. 
When you should have Birmingham, you don't need to listen to Lady Saar. When Lady Saar says she a preach, if I'm a boss, she a boss. Hmm? The whole of them know how to play pound up when it come with money, when it come to the Christian thing and the money thing. When you see the same field entertainer, they do the same thing as well, and Gina Jennings, they have to back him up. Demons, back up. Hmm? They know how to play on your conscience. They know how to play on your conscience with either human story. Or the religious game. They know how to play you. Trust me, sunshine, if you want quick money, go open a church. Ladies are them too greedy, man. With you when she's at Birmingham, she a boast for all of the things she, she a tell people how oh, God give me house and how oh, him give God give me room in there, the house for him fill up on the beach and I be a boss in. Hmm? And you have come suck poor people, Jai. Andrew Mackay didn't see that part, but sometimes you have to understand when Isaac speak. If you don't understand the sarcasm in Isaac, you would think a lot of things that Isaac said he means, but he is giving you his point of view from sarcasm. And I think people miss that a lot of time and thinking, his view might sound it support Babsy on the labor right, but it's his sarcastic, sarcastic way um, of responding to them. So it might sound like that, but trust me, with Isaac, I I I um I wouldn't say that. But um I felt communicate with a lot of sarcasm and a lot of people um got get sidetracked by that but it's generally how he um, communicates really mm -hmm. yeah it, it's a sarcasm for those who can understand it would understand what he's saying but he does um communicate with a lot of sarcasm and therefore get um misunderstood um a lot of the times but from all angle, we have to keep up pressure on this government. The fast militarization of an already brutal police state, Jamaica, it is something very, very concerning. It is something very concerning. And what did the fear is so, whether it, it is complacency or fear, but it is so polished morning. It is so real and overwhelming to the point where so much is happening and it looks like nothing is happening. If it wasn't for social media, the way mainstream media three cheat all of what is going on in Jamaica. I don't think they're giving proper highlights to the issue or giving proper um, long-term broadcasting to them. Yes, you'll get a headline story here and there, but you really ever hear the media calling for resignation of politician you really see the media going out there 
and digging dirt and politicians, with the exception of um, the lady from 18 degrees north. The journalist core of Jamaica is one of the biggest problems. The general, the, the journalistic core in Jamaica is one of the biggest problem. They are the nation. Yes, Zara Burton. They, they are the nation eyes and ears. Your media house, your journalists, plain truth, good morning should be a nightmare to every politician. But rather so because, they are, because of their cordial friendship. They seem to just lie there, just write a little half-hearted story now and then. Because Jamaican journalists' story are mostly informative rather than investigatorial, if I saw the word go, Marjorie Mullins. Mm -hmm. They more inform rather than investigate. Them just hear of a story out there and then bring it to your attention. Rather, they go and investigate and develop the story. Them not believe in other type of journalism there. Them believe in the can news journalism. I just news. Two Jamaican journalists, them I just news them care. Them are really give a hardcore, hardcore journalism. Poli this is why politicians don't afraid of them. Because one they know they either don't do their job properly or they can be bought out easily. Sometimes some of these journalists, also you will have some of them, one and a few of them did it where we do the good work, but it's also a mama task to pass through some corrupt editor where them and politician sit down and drink ever so often. News carry and fifth column is wrong, so. Half the time, are these editors and politicians go out, go drink, play tennis, and all sort. So it's hard, even if a good foot soldier journalist out there do a good investigative piece, it might never get out to the broadcasting because editor is not going to sign off on it. And I think it's time for a lot of these journalists to take up a social media career with them journalist credentials. Because, you say, when you can't get free use on a free speech and publish on an investigation, a lot of them investigate some things, Nicola Williams, and editors block them. Social media have provided you a platform to be real journalists. All right, Elaine, thank you, Miss Sue. Miss Sue, don't you know? Uno no se me no talk for so long. Need that too. Me just de here. And I chill out and I talk to get hungry because I overeat this morning. And as I don't talk, I will go back go overeat again. So it's going to be at that cycle over the weekend. Eat, sleep, and talk. But thank you for there with me for the. Easter weekend on the Good Friday, they call it. So, you know, you can murder somebody, then call it good. But then again, 
Never mind. Don't go there, Wayne. Don't go there. Don't go there. But enjoy your weekend and make sure whatever you're doing, you do it carefully. But thank you all for being here this morning from the Eastern time and this afternoon from the UK time. Thank you very much. And over the weekend, if anything does pat my eye, I will run out and give highlight to it becoming a one, the wholeness and more thing to say. The fact that we take with eye off of things for one minute, it means we are going to give them time to carry on with more. No, sir. <laughs> ah, when we're asleep, we are, we are watching out of one eye. Hmm? Ah, when we're asleep, we are watching out of two eyelids. So thank you all very much. And enjoy your weekend and have a wonderful Easter break. Thank you all very much. And good afternoon, good morning from Global Television. Walk good, all globalists. And make sure, subscribe if you have not yet done so.